Marriott. And I robbed the jewelry store there too, Ned. So. Did what? <laughs> I know, the, I robbed the jewelry store oh, in Marriott. Yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, sure you, I'm sure you did. I bet you when you when you uh, crashed through the doors, you went, "Ladies and gentlemen, this is your moment. Please don't think you were no, a beautiful." No, I kind of went. Get out! Surgeons have been doing. Get out! <laughs> get out! Get out! No. When you're good, when you're good, you can just go through the game smooth. It, it becomes that much more cinematic, you know? It's like 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 a big, long film. But, like for us, like for me, it's the cutscenes. The cutscenes are the thing for me. The gameplay is the gameplay. I love it. But the cutscenes are what I like, you know? I, some dude put together all the cutscenes from the whole thing. It was like seven and a half hours. Wow. Of cutscenes. And I downloaded it. And believe it or not, I actually watched it. You know, it was like binge watching a, a, a Netflix show or something, you know? It, 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 it's funny because, you know, I, I don't even do that myself. I mean, I get to the point, you know, I, I'm always working. I love what I mm -hmm. do. I, you, what you said is true. I love working with the young guys. I got these young guys in Boston. Yeah. And they're go-getters and, and they're smart. And I got Nick and I got a lot of kids. And, and just the... I get the energy out of them, you know? I mean, I got a lot of energy. Oh, yeah. It is, you know? But these kids got the energy, too. So... And, and when they're good at something, they like to learn too. You know, one thing I teach they're sponges. Is, they're sponges. Yeah, they the only listen. They're smarter than us, but they yeah. don't have our experience. Yes, you know, with exactly. People in life and, and, and stuff and, of that nature. And you know, and they and they need to be they need to be mentored and guided. You know, and stuff like that. So yeah, it's yeah. like it's a huge responsibility if you're working with with kids or whatever to make sure that that you lead them in the right direction. You know, like I, I coach little league base, like, like kids baseball, travel baseball and Good stuff, you, you know, yeah, yeah. and, and, you know, my son played baseball. So all coming up through that time, it was, it was, uh, you know, it was like, and, and then if, then you're Michael on top of that. Cause my son was 11 when the game came out. Oh, Jesus. So, you know, it, it's yeah. been like, like, you know, well, you know, that, there's a couple more questions I have for you there. Of course, a few more, but anyway, how much do you relate to Michael? Because, I love the character, and you seem to like. I don't well, know if it's just just a natural thing, or you must relate in some way. I think I think Michael relates to me. <laughs> <laughs> but Very no, good. you've got to, right? Right? You've yeah. got to relate to it. It's like that. That's what acting is. You know, acting is you you get a script and you bring yourself to the script, and and you find the marriage between the the script and you, and 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 see what works. You know, and I was very fortunate because, and, and I talk about this a lot. You know. It, it's a really, the, the writers on this thing are, are just, they're incredible. You know, for us, it was, it was Rupert, Rupert Humphrey, uh, Michael Unsworth and, and uh, uh, Dan, you know, and, and then Dan Hauser, you know, and those guys, their, their sense of, of, you know, how people are and what's funny and all that kind of is incredible. But, also, the other thing was they, they really didn't have a huge ego. In other words, they gave me room to that improvise. That was my next question. Yeah, then. they gave me room Did to improvise. Did you have leeway to and, and kind of, I, I hate to say alter or a change. Did, uh, did you have an a, a input on how the character and things went? It, it, it's uh, funny because the, the, the director came to me one day and he goes, you know, Ned, this, this, you know, at first it was like the game was, was, was you know it was like 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 you were right for the the character you know and then it was like the character was written for you and then it's become like you are writing the character you know and it, it's it's just a transition that you make you know like and it's based on the freedom that you get you'll work on some things where they go dude what are you doing man that's not the line that's not the line say the line and the line might suck and they mm. want you to say it anyway i've had plenty of times where i've had to say lines that sucked these guys, they let me do what I did because they're Scottish, right? They're Scottish. I don't <laughs> speak. I had to learn a new language, right? English. So, so it was like I had to bring myself to it. Like, what, what would I say? You know, I, you know, like, what would the street net say to this? Okay, so I, I was allowed to change stuff and 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 maneuver stuff as long as it stayed on track. You know, you couldn't just go off in some crazy direction well, unless you were unless you were. No, playing. they had a plan. Yeah, they unless you were the guy plan. the guy they playing Lamar. Fun. He he would do whatever, man, and they would just go, Oh, that's great. But it, it was, you know, it, for me it was it was a lot of I mean they were they were typing as I was as I was doing it because I would change things to make it work for me. And only only one line that they really came up to me and I couldn't make it work, and they said, 
you know, and the director came and I was doing all kinds of stuff, to change it and stuff. No, 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 cut, cut, cut. Ned, Ned. Finally, he comes up and he says, Ned, they want you to say this line exactly as written. And I went, and I was like, the line sucks, man. What the <laughs> fuck? What? I can't, I can't get the rhythm for it, man. And he goes, he goes, trust me on this. This is the line. And you know what the line was? Oh, God. You forget a thousand things every day. Make sure oh. this is one of them. Can you I believe it? And, and I'm it, like, well, I couldn't find the rhythm for it. I couldn't, I couldn't, it was like not working That's the one, me. that's the greatest line in the it's, damn it's movie. The, it's that, the, it's, the, it's the iconic line. And of course, that's why they're rock star. Because they yeah. know, they're smart. They go, that's the line, Ned. This is the line, trust me. And of course, it's the line everybody wants me to say. Wow. You know, you know and, and I, I just snuck a pal in there on the first one. So it was, it was, you know, you forget a thousand things every day, pal. Make sure this is one of them. One of them. Yeah, and, that's the and, opening line when you're yeah, sitting and on it the was bench, like, you know? It was like, I boom! Mean, it, All of a sudden, the rhythm was there. Because for me, it's like, it's like, I don't have rhythm, but it's like dancing, baby. I'm like, you know, where where is the flow? Where's the, the thing, you know? And and if I can find that, I'm really good. If you, I can't you know, find that, dude, you're going to be going, this guy sucks, man. How did he 100%. get this job? But, you know, Ned, most like, you know, when they make movies and I have friends in the business, matter of fact, you're lucky to strike. I mean, you know, whatever they did to yeah. now to strike, you know, probably they were gone, done, whatever the new guys, whatever it is. I mean, it depends. That, you got to uh, define lucky. I think they fucked us on well, AI, but yeah. the reason I say that, Ned, is because executive producer of LA Live is a very good friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so I had him on, and he talked to me, and we talked to him, and he said, listen, why it's so important to strike people on understanding. When you get shown, well, I, now I'll call it a show, GTA. Yeah. Uh, if they get into it, the writers and the, the actors and everybody get into a flow. Sure. That all of a sudden somebody leaves, they got, you know, it's not the same rhythm, and it can throw the whole thing off. And people don't get it. They just think, oh, he's well, get another you see writer. That. No, you, it's not like that. Yeah, you, know? you see that with, you see that with, uh, you know, speaking of law and order. Okay, so, so, mm -hmm. uh, what is it? Criminal, in, no, uh, organized crime, like with Chris, with Chris Maloney, right? Yeah. That thing's had like four showrunners. And wow. you see things, it's still a really good show. I mean, like, Chris is awesome, man. But you see like, like. It, it's it, you can see like the subtle changes that are happening from the different showrunners, you know, that are going on. So I think it's hard if you don't have, if you don't have some level of consistency and that's what makes those, those, you know, Wolf productions so good, you know, oh, is, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're is about they have, they have that consistency. Order, yeah. yeah. They have the consistency. They have, you know, the guys, you know, that are, that are, you know, well, it's writers, you know, like I just did a show, a whole, uh, I did a show for VH1, called My True Crime Story, and they mm -hmm. had a, a new showrunner had to come in and take over because of, you know, whatever screws up was going on. I mean, I just go there for the show. And uh, we talk a lot, and we go out. When I go to L.A. or stuff, I'll talk to her. It's a her. And I'll tell you what, boy, do they have it down to a, you know, because you know oh, as well yeah. as I. You have do to. They, do they film GTA like they film a show? Like, did they film things out of order? And you oh, know yeah. What's yeah, going yeah, on? yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, nothing's in order because you know what happens is, is you could be going on and all of a sudden they think of something. Yeah, dude, we need oh, to yeah. get do. Did you have to like, go back a lot? And my do, script's like thirty five hundred pages. I mean, it's literally this big. Wow. Jeez. And and we didn't get it. It's not like we had that. Here, here, here's your script. You know, it, it was. It was in a vault. <laughs> it wasn't even in a vault. It was in, it, the vault was this it was like Dan and wow. Rupert and Michael's head. That's where the wow. where it was. So it's they would go. They would go. And I'll give you a perfect example. This was this was the, the 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 thing. Like like we didn't have green rooms or anything like that. Everybody was in one room. And we all ate lunch together. We did the whole thing, right? So they bring lunch and we eat. That's so smart. I'm eating lunch. I'm eating lunch one day, and you know I'd gotten material. Like, let's say it was a Tuesday. I'd gotten material on Sunday for Monday, Tuesday, you know, whatever. All of a sudden, they come to me at lunch and hand me, you know, this and go, we're going to shoot this after lunch. <laughs> really? I'm and gonna, you got to learn it. <laughs> it was, yeah, yeah. It was all the Dr. Friedlander uh, uh, psych, psychiatrist stuff. 
Oh shit, I remember that for you. Yeah. So you're trying to learn this stuff and, and I'm I'm fortunate I'm I'm blessed. I've got a really good memory, but I, I'm looking at this stuff and I'm going, how am I gonna how am I gonna memorize eighteen pages? You know? So I would have to while they were setting up stuff, I would try to learn it and, and do it, you know, and so there's a lot of and that's one of the reasons why there was a lot of ad living, by the way, is because and improv improvisation is because this stuff was handed to us like without warning, like we would get stuff with not enough time to learn it and everything. So you had to be on your feet, man. You had to be able to go, you know, and, and, and I'm sure after a while though, Ned, you got really like, obviously you oh, got good at it. And, and, I, I was, and, yeah, I was always good at it. Here, here's my thing. If something reads well, I memorize it like that. The audition process, a perfect example. I was just going to more when, about that. How yeah. you actually got, like, you well, auditioned how many people? Yeah, I went down to Bernie Telsey's and, and did the audition. The casting director was, at that time was Bernie Telsey. And we did the audition on camera, just like a normal audition. And it was it was the opening scene with the psychiatrist. It was the, you know, your son Jim. He's a good kid, you know. The guy with the beard. The yeah, yeah, right except right for right it was there. with the wife at the time. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, so I did that thing. And I knew I crushed it. And I figured I was going to get called back, but I didn't hear anything for a while. So, gone, right? That's how you do it. If you're, you're an actor, yeah. you can't worry about, about you know, or am I going to hear from these guys? No. Once you're done, throw it out. That's it. If they call you, they call you. But so a couple months later, I get a call. And they, they, it's a call back, right? So I show up down at, down at the offices, down at, the, at their offices on Broadway there. And it turns out it's an act off. We called it an act off because they wow. had two Michaels and two Trevors, <laughs> right? So we're in there and, and you know, we're all prepared and they had me reading for both. I was going to read for both Trevor and Michael. They didn't mm. know which they wanted me for. So I was, I was reading. You don't look like a Trevor. Well, I don't look like the Trevor now because the Trevor <laughs> now is hideous and, and I'm actually hot. So I it was love like, it. It was hey, like, hey, listen. Not bad. I mean, you know. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so they had two of us, right? Two of each. All of a sudden, the assistant comes out and goes, and we're all prepared, right? We got the same shit that we prepared for the first audition. And these guys have had two months with it, right? So they're cold, man. They got it down, man, the other guys. They come out, and they hand us seven pages and go, this is the material for today. And I, I the other Michael was like, wait, wait, wait a minute. He reaches into his jacket, and he's like, He's like, what, what, at that point, it was Albert, the other Albert, mm. reaches into his jacket. He'd be, what about, what, we're, we're not going to do this? We're not going to do this, this, this stuff that we prepared? And she's like, no, no, we're going to do this material today. That was when I knew I had him. Because she handed me the material, and I started reading it, and I went, oh, man, this okay. is good. This is good shit. This is really good. And I, and, I, and I saw him panicking, and I knew he was done. All I had to do was get it. So yeah. it read really well. I memorized it in a heartbeat. And, and then how it worked was uh, Stephen Og, who got Trevor, he went in with this Michael, with the other guy. Boom. Then I went in with the other Trevor, right? And then those two went in together. And we're sitting out in the thing. And I, and I said to Stephen, I, I was like, I was like uh, dude, how was your guy, man? My guy, I don't, I don't, I didn't feel good i mean he i didn't have any juice with this guy so i hope you can bring it and he's like oh i can bring it <laughs> and i'm like I let's go that. man i love confidence yeah. i'm like let's go and and we went in there and and i mean we literally threw down the scripts and we went you know we stayed wow. on we were on the on the pages but we went and and i mean i mean he went upside my head i jacked him in the you know gave a chest shot, you know, and you know, it was like we were good because it was a scene where, where we're drawing on each other and and so we did that, you know, and stuff and and they had they had this one dude was, uh, he was doing like behind the scenes stuff, you know, filming and then they had the camera that we were actually acting for, this the still camera that was there that they were recording the audition for and you could hear the guy going, oh you know, like this, oh you know, and, and we came out and I was like to, to Steven, I said you know, I go, man, dude, I don't know about you, but well, I didn't say it yet. First we came out and everybody was out there and the director came out and he's from Stoke-on-Trent, you know, UK. 
And, dude, accent. I mean, <laughs> he's telling a story. He's telling a story, and everybody's laughing, you know, and, and not. And I'm just nodding and laughing because I see everybody else doing it. And then finally, I just said, I said, you know, dude, I got I to gotta tell you, man, I don't understand a fucking word you're saying. <laughs> I knew that was coming. And he goes, he goes, and he leaves. Hey, mate, I, I you didn't, don't know. Didn't say a fucking word. He just turned and left. And I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> Me and my big mouth. You know, I went my mouth crammed it. I got a big uh, mouth. Hey. You know? You know, the kids on watching this don't know who Ralph Cramden was. That uh, was my favorite you show. You better look him up. Honeymooners. Best, best, Honey, my favorite best show, show in history. Honey. But anyway, yeah. so so we got downstairs, and I was like, you know, to Steven, he was getting on his bike, you know, because he's a little Mr. Bike Rider with his helmet and stuff. And he goes, uh, and I said, I said, dude, I said, I don't know about, about me, but you're getting this thing, man. You, you slayed that thing. You're, you're getting it. If they don't have other guys, that's it. And he goes, he goes, well, I don't know. And I said, I know. I'll see you on the set. And, and, and that it worked was the out. audition. That was the audition. And, and we showed up and I saw him on the set. You know, That's got to be exciting and, as heck. You know, there, there was actually two more questions I got. I, I know the, your time. Uh, it's funny, Ned, because, you know, there was a petition. And I don't know how many thousands of people wanted me to do it. A scene in there with robbing jewelry stores. That was my thing. I'm still known uh -huh. as the biggest jewel robber in the country. And it was funny because when I talked about your first thing when I started it, I said, what are they going through these lights for? You know, what are they? I said, listen, you know, do a real robbery. Let's get points for this. Let's do this. I mean, let's make it a robbery. You want to do a robbery? I'll show you how to do a real robbery. <laughs> and, and people started asking me. I, I said, wait a minute. I think I'm telling too many people I really robbed you. Two <laughs> questions, Ned. Okay. Two last. One, I'm going to go right to it. How was it working on Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption? Because their numbers are still going crazy. You know, uh, and, and, you know that, that, I mean, and did you have a problem with Rockstar because of the, you know, the competition? No. no. Well, no. Rockstar is Red Dead, so there was... Well, I know, no but meaning sometimes there, they don't but... bring a character from one game to another. Well, they don't, you know, and, and at the time when they were shooting Red Dead, I just had a little tiny part in it, and, and, uh, at the time, I, I was I was freaking broke, man. I, I almost had no money left, and so I called I called the director and said, "Hey, dude, can you get me something here? Is there anything I could do on Red Dead? I'll come in and do whatever, you know." And he's like, he checked, and he, they were like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." So they I came in, and that's how Rockstar is, man. They're cool that way, man. They actually, you know, people think they don't take care of their. Uh, uh, some people think they have like bad. Reputation with actors, fuck that man. They 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 were they were awesome. I, I was so, gonna ask that too. Yeah, actually. so I okay. went. I they brought me in for that, and I did some some non playable stuff. I did some animations, you know, like just walking around, sitting around a campfire. But then I also had I also had a character. He was a moonshiner, and I remember the director was very worried because he was afraid it was going to become. He, they didn't want it to be. Where's Michael? You know what I mean? Like, have this become, there's Michael in Red Dead, where's Michael? Mm -hmm. Which I understand is probably the reason why they don't use a lot of guys over again is because they don't want it to be about that one. They want it to be about this one. And and I worked with Roger Craig, who's, or Roger Clark, I mean, who's the, uh, you know, the lead character, Arthur, Arthur Morgan. And I worked with Rob Weedoff. He was there. Everybody was there. And, uh... It was funny because I, I did this voice like like I was I was like this guy right here and I had me a I had me a lisp and <laughs> and it was it was it was a pretty good character voice and I don't think anybody would have noticed that I was Michael you know what I mean it was yeah. good and and at least in my mind it was good but it, 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 the game comes out right and I'm playing that fucker man and then here comes the moochie shit. And I'm there, and I'm all crusted up, you know, and stuff, and just they had they had me hidden, but I knew it was me because I did a little something. The way I sat in the chair, the way I sat, was was my oh sit. the way Michael sits. Yeah, it was my yeah, sit. You know, yeah, it was yeah, my yeah. sit. He does it, have a distinct. It, it's, it's you do have my a distinct, nose, you know, right? Like, it's my nose. It's yeah, my yeah. you know eyes, and and so I'm sitting there, I'm looking. They got this guy all gnarled up and stuff, and all of a sudden he speaks. And he sounds like a fucking accountant. 
And I'm like, what the fuck is it? They, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, took my, they took my voice out. <laughs> oh, I'm that shit. character voice, and they took it out. Nice and, I, and I was like, I was so fucking pissed. They, I wasn't really pissed, but I was like, I was disappointed, to be honest. But they took my voice out, and, and I know where I was, because they didn't want it to be, well, it's Michael, you know. But they left me in the credits. So I'm in the credits, and the, and the fans go, Ned Lurks I didn't see you. Yeah, Ned yeah, Lurks yeah. in Red Dead. Ned, where, where, who are you in Red Dead? And I go, like, they were coming at me on, on social media. Who are you in Red Dead? Where are you? What guy are you? And I just said, I just did a little two-word answer, or three words. It's a mystery. Ah, people are looking for you then. And now they're looking. So it turned into what it was anyway, because I couldn't say who, I didn't want to say who I was, you know, and, and, and have it become that. But it became that, you know, and and it it was it went on for a long time. People couldn't find me because they they gnarled me up so much. And finally, some dude figured it out. He did a whole breakdown. He listen, did a YouTube you know, video that Ned, was like twenty minutes long. You know, you know the internet will find it. Listen, I mean, I found that out. They will find. I, I oh yeah, some little show. They don't give a shit. They'll yep. find it. This is last question here. Then I want a, a personal thing with you. Uh, all right, I have to know. How was the suit, the tight suit on your balls? Well, you know, <laughs> when, you, when you're hung like a field mouse, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I don't matter. Ah, <laughs> I don't, why don't I believe that? No, it was fine, man. It was like, it was like, you know, what it was like, it was like wearing a, it was like wearing a, spandex uh, or something. Yeah, you know, like like leggings, like the the leggings. Yeah, I see, I. Are, I, I I, I I gotta breathe, man. I mean, I I, I just my boys need support. Now my need air, <laughs> right? It's like the old Seinfeld. Okay, buddy. Seinfeld. It's like it's, the Seinfeld uh, episode where where uh, uh, Kramer's worried about his sperm count because he's wearing tidy whities you know. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. And last one is what what's your best and worst experience at you know like the comic cons or the the, the con things they meet and greets you know. Was there any anything that stands out like that? No, I mean, you know. <laughs> I mean, all positive, no wackos. I Dude, mean, you get swatted. You know, things the, happen. Here, I noticed. Here's the thing about there. here's the thing about the comic cons. Like like our our fans. First of all, our fans for the most part, ninety nine point nine percent, are unbelievable. Mm. Their their respect. They, they get they they shake. Right? They meet you. They're shaking. And I don't understand it. I'm like going, dude, I'm just, an, I'm, a, I'm a dude, man. I'm just me. You know, they, they, calm down. Here, give me your phone. We'll take a picture. You know? But I, we went out for sushi yesterday with my wife, right? And her, and her sister. And, and we're at this place. I see these guys walking in and, and they see me sitting there and they're like eyeballing me. And, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, like you probably, you know, I, I'm looking at everything. I'm seeing everything that's oh, happening. because I got eyes behind know, the back of my yeah, head. Yeah, exactly. That's how I am. And my wife, they don't understand that. My wife and sister-in-law. But, but you know, you, you just, you're on, you're on alert all the time. So I see these guys. So now we're leaving and they come rushing up and they're like, are you Ned Luke? And I'm like, yeah, that's me. And I'm freaking trying to find a, a little lollipop to get after you have the, the, yeah. you know, the sushi, right? <laughs> And they're like, uh, oh, I knew it. I knew it. I told you he was. And I'm like, you want to get a picture? Let's go. Took pictures. And my sister-in-law couldn't understand it. She's like, wait a minute. How did you guys know that that was him? And they're like, we follow him. We're fans. We're, you know, yeah, we, sure. we watch his live Absolutely. stream, you know, whatever. And, and people don't understand that. Our fans are amazing. Now, that doesn't mean that. You know, like I like these guys doing all the bullshit. I, I wouldn't consider them fans. Those are just assholes. You know? Right, I and, agree. 100%, and you know, you know but it, in the comic cons and stuff, man, it's amazing. Like Solo and I just went to Brazil, and it, it was it was incredible. Three hundred thousand people came through that Brazil game show, right? And wow. I bet you, I bet you, we saw a hundred thousand of them. And it was just like you, you. They were the the. We're we're judging this cosplay, this cosplay contest. At the end of it, they're rushing the stage to, to, you know, get a picture or an autograph or just meet us, you know, kind of thing. And it's like this sea of people, but they're all so courteous. They're like waiting their turn. You know, it's not like somebody's going, get out of the fucking way. I got him. You know, yeah. they're just waiting their turn and we're trying to hit as many of them as we can, you know. And that's how our fans are. And that's how these comic cons work for us. You know, like we'll, yeah. do, the, we'll do a panel and... There's never anybody going, you know, uh, yeah, I got a question. 
why did you suck so bad? No, yeah, listen, you know, they're, they're, it's they're, like, they're, 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 yeah. you know, you, you, you I, I just know uh, that, and one, I want to thank you for this interview, and I want to grab it no for worries. a second here. Uh, you know, Ned, obviously, we're older older guys in this game of YouTube, and yeah, this yeah. game of social media, you and me, and it's nice to see a guy like myself, older, that's having fun still, doing the stuff with this. Do you smoke cigars? No, I don't. <laughs> but I'm still going to send you... Send them. Oh yeah, the best yeah, yeah. Box of. Uh, I know, but when I when I go golfing, I'll I'll hand them out to my. Oh, company. I'm a golfer, Ned. So yeah, I'll hand them out to my compatriots. And I'm gonna send you, Ned. This, this is a torch lighter. Watch this. It goes like this. It comes with these. I mean, beautiful. Uh, you know, stuff like that. And it is. I mean, high end. We got a whole bunch of these. That's they cool. go crazy. I want to send you stuff. So off air, I'll get you stuff. All right. Uh, definitely going to go golfing, bud. I'm, I'm a golfer. I'm actually going uh, Wednesday. Uh, matter of fact, a couple of guys who work with me, the, the guy named Iz, he's a golfer. And, yeah. uh, you know, it's one of the great games and stuff we do. It really you know, is. Get away. It, it, it's and, a hard uh, game, man. Uh, I love the game. And it's, I wish I didn't have a bad back. I'm, you know, we're getting old. I can tell well, you that. You know, look, but, I used to play. I used to play all the time. When when I was mm -hmm. making money uh, as an actor and living in L.A. and I was doing okay, I, I would play. You know, two times, three three times a week. I'd go out to the desert and play PGA West with one of my good yeah. friends. You know, who, who who was out there, and I got to where I was pretty good. But then when I with my with my son, my son's you know a baseball player. He plays baseball in college. He's a pitcher, mm -hmm. and. You know, I got into that, and there was no time for golf anymore because mm. it was it was baseball practice, workout, throw, go play games. You know, hit, do all that stuff. So I didn't play golf. I literally didn't play golf for like ten years. Oh man, you know, Ned, I got I I got down to a three handicap. I was pretty good. Oh man, that's Blowed good. A few country clubs. Uh, still get out. I'm about eleven, maybe twelve now. I, again, I can't hit it anymore. Uh, but I enjoy it. I smoke cigars. I have little yeah. drinks. We we bring yeah. a bottle of whiskey. So when you get a birdie, you, gotta, you, well, you know, got we to. We do the whole works. But uh, <laughs> you got to. You know, I I look forward to you know catching up with you. You know, uh, uh, you and I having a couple of drinks going out and. and no, dude, and, when you're and, in Atlanta, let me know, buddy. Listen, I go through there a lot. Matter of fact, uh, I had people. My cousin used to live in Atlanta. I'd live mm -hmm. in Mar uh, Marietta. Oh sure, 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 sure. Yeah, Marietta. Played a lot and of baseball. Actually, Played a lot I of baseball in Marietta. Yeah, you know, I robbed the jewelry store there too, Ned. So there what? <laughs> I know the. I robbed the jewelry store oh, in Marietta. Oh yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you. I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. Yeah. I bet you when you. I bet you when you when you uh, crashed through the doors, you went. You went. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is your moment. Please don't make me. No, I kind of went. Get out! Surgeons get out, have been get doing. Down. <laughs> get out! Get out! No, hey Ned. I want to really thank you, man. Uh, we're going to have this out. We're going to put it everywhere. I, I, when I get off there, I'll get some links from you and address to send you some stuff. Okay. Uh, also, uh, what I'd love to do, like it says, is uh, link everything you're doing up. I want to catch your live feed. Maybe I'll pop on with you. We'll see, you know, get my fans out there. And we'll really hit it up. You're doing great stuff, man. And I love entertainment. Any entertainment. Yeah, I, love I do it. too, I, man. And people don't know how hard we work. Uh, no. And I think some do, of course, but they don't know what a do. shitty business it is either. <laughs> uh, exactly, and they don't they all, know. They all think you know, it's so glamorous. The work, the dedication, you know? everything you're doing. Yeah. I respect you a lot, Ned. I know how hard it is. I know how good you are. It's a and, grind, and and, and, and and you keep going to the grind, and I love that about yeah. you. I want to thank you. thanks, Ned, for coming on. Hey, thanks for having me, Larry. Appreciate it. Absolutely, everybody. That's Ned Luke, GTA Five, Michael. I don't know if he's in six. Nobody does. Back. It's a mystery. Uh, it's a mystery. I got my thoughts. I got my stuff. Anyway, guys. There's my Annie right behind me. Oh, my. That's my You know, that's my town. <laughs> I'll be yeah, down that's, there. That's everybody's actually, town, dude. That's nah, everybody's nah, town. I live South here. Beach, forget it. <laughs> Listen, I live here. I was in Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Uh, but have a great day, Ned. Thanks again, buddy. And you please, got everybody, it. stay safe, make good choices, and have fun. Take Don't care, everybody. Don't be stupid. Yeah. Take care, Ned. <laughs>